Hi everyone, this is lesson 6.3, Exploring Graphs of the Primary Trigonometric Functions. Trigonometric functions are called periodic functions because they tend to repeat themselves over a time interval. Some terminologies to memorize. The period is the time for one complete cycle. And the amplitude is the maximum displacement of the graph along the y-axis. The period of the function is the length of one complete cycle or repetition. Consider the graph of f of x equals to sine x. The function tends to repeat itself every two pi times and continues infinitely in both directions. Therefore, on the test, if you're asked to draw this graph, a restrictions are usually imposed on the domain. For example, the teacher might ask you to draw this graph such that it is in between 0 and 3 pi. We can say the period of f of x equals to sine x is 2 pi. And the maximum displacement of the graph along the y-axis is 1. because the Therefore, the amplitude of the function is therefore 1. Let's take a look at the sine function. If a function is defined by f of x equals to a times sine bx for a does not equal to 0, and a belongs to all real number. a represents the amplitude of f of x, while b affects the period of f of x, as well as the horizontal stretch or compression. The period will be 2 pi over b. When a is bigger than 1, the vertical, I'm oh, sorry, the graph will experience a vertical expansion. When a is less than 1, the graph will experience a vertical compression. If b is bigger than 1, it has the effect of compressing the graph horizontally. On the other hand, if b is less than 1, it will stretch the graph horizontally. Let's try to sketch the graph of f of x equals 2 sine 2x for the domain of 0 less or equal to x less or equal to pi. Step 1 is find the amplitude. The amplitude in this case will be a and that will be 2. The period will be 2 pi over b. b in this case is 2. So our period will be pi. Test for the value of f of x when x is equal to 0. This will tell you where you start the graph. So where the repetition starts. And at f of 0, it equals 0. Now test the value for f of x at the end of the point where x is equal to pi. This should tell you where the graph ends. And at f of pi, sorry, at x equals to pi, f of pi equals 0. So the graph would look something like this. With an amplitude of 2 and a period of pi starting with 0 and ending with 0. So that's the end of this lecture. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to do your assignments as well as upload them for the teacher to mark. And I'll see you guys next time.